And then I sniffed it and I fell in love with the smell of it because it smells really good. Like this one is funky. Hershey, Hershey's, Hershey's, Hershey's. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my main favorites here for you today. And as always, I've got some exciting things to share with you. I have a food favorite, which for some reason always makes me really happy. And this one is like, love, love, love it. Once again, like last month's food favorites were. And I have some makeup-y favorites that I have not mentioned in Friday favorites and a body care and yeah. So let's just get into it. So quickly running through my Friday favorites for eyes. I just really, really enjoyed this. Laura Geller Baked Color Intense Shadow Duo in Stone and Terracotta. This was part of that TSV. I love this. I really like the liner that came with that set. I really, really love the MAC Vibe Tribe collection. Oh my gosh. I mean, this packaging just makes me happy. It is so pretty. It's one of my favorites the MAC has ever done, packaging-wise. But I really like the products, too. And this eyeshadow palette is really beautiful. I'm wearing it today. And also the Laura Geller. I have a little bit of Laura Geller on my outer corner and outer part of my lower lash line. Love it. And I really like this ColourPop liner in what is this in show me love this too for blush i have to go with my laura geller blush and brighten in pink grapefruit this is so pretty just a really warm beautiful color kind of like a warm corally nudey sort of a shade but it's got a glow to it it's so pretty and then i really really love my becca luminous blush in tiger lily you know, I mentioned that I really wasn't a fan of Foxglove, but I love this one. It's just a beautiful, like, glowy, orangey kind of a shade, like tangerine. Like, it's just really, really pretty. And I like the little, like, you know, flying saucer sort of packaging to it. That's a cute little added detail, too. Really pretty. For lips, I'm going to have to go with my Lancome Juicy Shakers. I just think these are so cute and fun and pretty and hydrating and yummy smelling i mean oh my goodness they smell amazing and they're just a nice little bit of color and a fun time because they're cute and then some makeup -y favorites that i have not mentioned in friday favorites i have pretty much been wearing this combo right here almost every single day this month and i just love these together and i mean these were already favorites of mine but i've been like combining them which is kind of like a duh they're the same brand they would work well together but i've actually been doing it and pairing them together and they work really really well so i would consider this kind of my skincare favorite this month too this is my cosmetic cc cream which i've talked about a lot i wear it in light um i've just been using this kind of as my morning skincare like I have not been using any kind of separate moisturizer or serum or treatment or anything because this has such great ingredients and anti-aging ingredients anyway. It's sort of doing that anyway. So I've just been using this as kind of my morning skincare and just applying it with my fingers. I haven't been using a brush for this. And I just love how it looks on the skin. I really like applying it with my fingers too, which I never do that with foundations or BB creams or CC creams or whatever, whatever creams. I usually use a brush or occasionally a beauty blender, but I like this with my fingers. I just apply it like that and it just, oh my gosh, just perfects your skin. It's amazing, I love this. And then over that I've been using my It Cosmetics Celebration Foundation SPF 50. I wear this in light also. Um, it's just a really beautiful powder foundation. This gives you pretty much flawless skin. I mean, it is gorgeous. You can look up the videos on QVC of them like taking off their makeup and just using this and it gives such good coverage. So on an easy, quick makeup day, you just need to get out the door. This is an awesome option. So much coverage, doesn't look like cakey or heavy or dry on your skin. I don't find it looking dry on my skin. I'm more normal combo oily. But I think this would also work for dry skin. And they also have a Celebration Foundation Illumination, which you would probably like even more if you have dry skin. But it's just beautiful, creamy texture. I love it. And then I've been using this brush that came in a QVC set, like these come together. This is the CC Plus Angled Buffing Foundation Brush. And I love this. It's super soft. That's why it looks dirty, because I've been using it. It Cosmetics brushes are so nice. So yeah, this has been my go-to 
foundation sort of combo this month. I have really been enjoying this thing. This is the Tarte Tartist Contour Palette. First off, smells really yummy. It smells like vanilla. Didn't even realize that when I got it at first. And then I sniffed it and I fell in love with the smell of it because it smells really good. But it's also just an awesome contour palette. I really haven't used the kind of yellowy color. That one doesn't work quite as well for my skin tone, but I've pretty much used everything else. Like the highlight shades are beautiful. Like this one, this white almost has like, it's not a sheen. Well, I guess you could describe it maybe as a sheen. I don't know, or maybe I'm just crazy, but I feel like when I put this on my skin, it has a little bit of a glow or a illumination in some way. But when I look at it, it looks straight matte, but maybe something happens when I get it on my skin. I'm not sure, but I love that. Um, the blush is really pretty. The contour um, colors are beautiful too. It's just a great palette and they have really, really nice textures to them. Like the texture on these, it's just, it's so good. Blends into the skin beautifully really easy to work with really like very you know versatile colors like neutral colors that i think are going to work for a lot of people like this one you know i mean i have to be really careful with this one actually and i went a little crazy today actually with it but i feel like this palette would work for a lot of skin tones so i just love it i think it's great i love the packaging of it it's a good little contour palette. So I mentioned that the It Cosmetics CC Cream is my skincare favorite this month. I was trying to think about a hair care favorite and I really don't have one this month because I've pretty much just been using the same things from months past and I've already mentioned them to you guys. So they're still favorites this month. So I don't have a new hair care favorite this month, but I do have a body care favorite. This is the Josie Marin Whipped Argon Oil and this is in Orange Creamsicle. Gosh, this smells amazing. This is part of a QVC set, or it was part of a set. I don't know if the set's still available. Clearly, I've been all about HSN and QVC recently, so they had this set. I think there were eight different um, lotions, or what are these technically called? Whipped Argon Oils. There were eight of those, I believe, in the set. So my mom and I split the set. So this is one that I've been using recently, and I love it so much. I mean, it smells, oh my gosh, like a creamy orange fluffy cake or something. It just smells amazing. But I also really like the formula on this and just like how creamy and hydrating it is. I mean, it is just whippy and super hydrating. It is a little bit oily feeling on the skin because you know it has the argon oil in it so it's very very hydrating feels amazing on the skin but it does feel a little bit oily so if that bothers you i would either use it at night or use it you know a little ways before you walk out the door so you're not feeling oily as you're walking around wherever so that's something to note about it but crazy hydrating great formula if you can get your hands on this scent or that set like the whole thing this is amazing, so amazing. But if you can't, the formula alone is worth getting another scent. And then I have a few randoms. So I have been all about diffusing oils this month. I used Young Living oils. These are the four that I've been grabbing for. I don't think you can get these in store. I could be wrong about that, but I think you have to get them through a distributor. I'm not a distributor. I get them through somebody. I wish you could just go to the store. That would be really nice if you could just, you know, go to a health store and get them there. Maybe you can, and I'm just not aware of it. But anyway, I think you have to get them through a person. So anywho, these are the four that I've been loving. I know with this kind of stuff, you know, you can't make medical claims or whatever. So I'm not making any medical claims. I'm just saying this is what I use them for myself personally. I love thieves. Um, I like to use this one if I feel like I'm getting sick. I'll use it either on the bottom of my feet or I'll diffuse it. And this one smells like Christmas. Like, I love the way this smells. This is my favorite as far as like how it smells, love it. It's so yummy. And then peppermint, I use this if I feel like I'm getting a headache. Don't even get me started on headaches and migraines and that topic because it's just like so frustrating. Oh, I hate headaches. But anyway, I've been using this. I use it under my nose, on my temples, on my neck. It's amazing. Um, peace and calming, this one, I have usually just been diffusing it at night when we sleep, but one day I meant to grab for this to put it like under my nose, you know, for a headache coming on, and I accidentally grabbed this one, and 
my headache didn't develop. So I've been using these in combination underneath my nose, like just dabbing it right here. So I'm smelling it. Um, and it seems like I haven't been, you know, a lot of the days that I do this, the headaches haven't been developing. Don't like the way this one smells at all. Like this one is funky. Mm -mm. Like I would describe it as like, oof, like an herbally weird men's cologne not nice smelling so i don't like the way this smells but i like to use it because i feel like it's you know doing good things and then lavender i like to diffuse this one at night you know y'all know what lavender smells like i mean it's just yeah it smells like lavender which actually i've never really been a fan of lavender but now that we've been using it more now i like it more because it just makes me think of sleeping you know it just seems relaxing so I've been loving those this month and I found a new favorite creamer okay so I mentioned the one last month and I said it was a good substitute for the Dolce de Leche that I can't find anymore but I didn't like that one as much as the Dolce de Leche well then I found this one and I like this as much as the Dolce de Leche maybe even more because I can't really remember how that one tasted I just remember how much I loved it this one is this is the International Delight Hershey, Hershey, Hershey's, Hershey's Chocolate Caramel. And it, it's so, so yummy. I actually wouldn't describe it as a chocolatey sort of a flavor because I'm not actually a really big chocolate fan. I would describe it as almost like caramely and almost nutty, but I could, I don't know. Maybe I'm making that up, but it doesn't, it doesn't taste like, um, dark chocolate or anything like that. It doesn't have that sort of bitter chocolate taste. You know what I mean? It's just really, really good. So in my coffee, I'll put a little bit of milk and a little bit of this, and it's just awesome. I love it so much. And lastly, I have been loving listening to praise and worship music in the morning. I'll just get out my iPad. I'll open up Pandora. I'll put in praise and worship music. That's what I type in for my like channel or station name or whatever. So then it, you know, picks different songs for you. And I just like, feel like it starts my day off right because I love music in general. I love so many different kinds of music. So music in general makes me happy and it just puts me in a good mood. But especially the praise and worship music, I've been doing it the last couple of weeks and I can just tell a difference in my attitude. Like I just feel encouraged, like I can take on the day. I feel happier. I don't know, it just somehow changes kind of the course of my day. I feel like it starts off my day right. So I've been doing that the last couple of weeks and I can definitely tell a difference and I've just been loving it. So I had to mention that. All right guys, so those are all my May favorites. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what you were loving in May. I always enjoy hearing your favorites. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.